Okay, today we're going to compare this very expensive Bentley oil filter, number 07V121717A, to this Molly oil filter, number OC238. And you can get this Bentley oil filter from Bentley Park USA for $117 plus shipping. And you can get this Molly oil filter from Rock Auto for $9.98 plus shipping. Or you may be able to find these cheaper somewhere else. But I got these oil filters for free. Yep, a very generous viewer sent me these oil filters. His name is Gary Frazier from South Carolina. Thanks, Gary. And these oil filters fit the Bentley Mosan. Yep, the ones made from 2011 to 2019 with the 6.8 V8 engine. And these two are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone, a nice pipe. Get your hammer here. Filtration is right in here. Okay, let's start with the Molly. Open her up. And we need a UV light for this one. There's the date code. It looks like it's a 250121. So that would be January 25th, 2021. And let's see on here it says made in Germany. Eight inlet holes. Looks like a bypass valve down below. And it's got a metal core. Can't see it too good here, but it's got holes down below. And it's got a strange design to it. We'll check that out after it's opened up. Got a good amount of threads there. It's about four, four or five. And the gasket, this gasket is on here really, really good. I started, started taking it off here somewhere. Yeah, it's, I can't even get it off of my fingernails. Yeah, it's on there really good, folks. Yeah, I just leave it on there. All right, let's take a look at the Bentley. And right here, they got packed 1 3 2017. So that's a pretty old filter. And the day code on this one's hard to read. Well, actually, with the light, it's not too bad. A16L15. Bentley. And these are just some um, instructions. It comes with this plastic covering. She also has eight in the holes. A little bit smaller though. Smaller holes. Bypass valve down below. Metal core with holes. Yeah, it looks to be a little less threads also. There's about three there. Nitro rubber gasket, which is also on there pretty good. But I can grab this one. Pretty thick. We'll compare them afterwards anyways, but yeah, that looks good. The big filter. Supposedly these guys fit the same vehicles, same engine on those Bentleys. They look totally different though. I say we cut these filters open and uh, see what they look like inside. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Molly weighs 480 grams. The Bentley weighs 660 grams. The base plates. The Molly weighs 203 grams. And the Bentley weighs... 253 grams. Let's take a look at these guys. You can see the the gaskets stick out about the same. Let's say they, they, they're about the same there, equal. Now the Molly's got more threads. You can see it's got more more grooves there. Also has larger inlet holes. Molly on my right, 
Bentley in the left. Yep. So I like the Molly base plate better than the Bentley. And the Molly has silicone any drain back valve. I'm pretty sure it's a silicone. Sure feels like it. Covers up these holes nicely. Now the Bentley's got this. This is almost like paper thin. Goes over this. Like that. But it has. On the end cap it has a little spring. See this? So that will keep that tight. Against there. Strange. I've never seen nothing like this before. The weird design. Unique. But both, both good base plates. They look pretty good. But I would, uh, I would go on a Molly on this one. Okay, let's look at the filter elements. The Molly weighs 131 grams. And the Bentley weighs. 189 grams. Now let's look at the Bentley first. It's got a metal crimp seam and a lot of pleats. They're pretty. They're spaced pretty good, also, except like right there and right at the seam. But it comes with 75 pleats. A lot of pleats. They're deep pleats, also. So this is going to be a lot of filter media. Yeah. This is going to be a ton of filter media, I think. Metal end caps. The bypass valve right here. Pretty stiff, too. And, like I said, it's got this little design here. It's got a little spring there. You can see it. Probably see it better after it's cut open. You can see the metal core with holes there. Clean. It's all nice and clean. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the Molly. Molly's got a crimp seam. Also, pleats are nicely spaced. They're really tight together. Yes. Just at the seam a little bit, but that's not bad. They're real tight. And this one's got a whopping 99 pleats. So this is going to have a lot of filter media also. And they're, they're also deep. And you can look in there. It's pretty... Oops, pretty deep. Yeah, metal end caps. With also a bypass valve right here. Okay. And the Molly has this stamped leaf spring, which is unique design. What's this way? 15 grams and the Bentley has a big coil spring and yeah, this is a big one can't even squeeze this thing be good for a mattress spring I think <laughs> let's see what this weighs 19 grams in the cans the Molly weighs 125 grams, and the Bentley weighs 196 grams. Let's get their thicknesses. Let's see, for the Molly, I was getting about 0.64. They're, they're thick cans. Let's see if I can get that in there. Yeah, point, 0.63 millimeters. 0.64, right around there. It's pretty thick. When 0.4 to 0.5 is usually about average. And this one's even a little bit thicker. I was getting about 0.69 on this. Yep, right there, 0.69 millimeters. Pretty thick cans. Yeah, you can definitely feel it. This is thick. And the filter media. The Molly is two 
2.98 inches wide. And the Bentley is a little bit wider. Let me get in here. Okay. 3.86 inches wide. Yeah, it's a lot wider. Totally two different kind of filters. It's gonna be interesting to see which one's which one's longer because this one's got uh I don't know almost 20 24 pleats more I guess. But look at the inside, that's kind of strange in there also. It's you'll be able to see it better when it's cut open. The model here on the right, Bentley on the left. You can see it has like a, a core that's got it like a wall. And right at the bottom, you can see little holes. Yeah, this is, these are two unique filters. Strange filters. Expensive filters. Well, I say we cut these filters open and stretch them out and see how long they are. Okay, so here they are stretched out. And I got to tell you, these filters are so long, I have to double them. Yeah, they're both doubled because they go way over my table. So even doubled, look at how long they are. The Molly is five feet long, and the Bentley is like five feet long, one and a half inches. And both filter medias are doubled. They're doubled up. So you'll see on the screen how much filter media that is. These two filters have a lot of filter media. Okay, and here they are at the seams. Let's get their thicknesses. The Bentley is 0.81 millimeters thick. And the Molly is 0.71 millimeters thick. Let's look at them up close. Bentley on my right, Molly on the left. They look and feel about the same, but M K. Yeah, this is a lot of filter media. I wish I had some filtration numbers for you guys, but I couldn't find anything about these filters. But let's look at the rest of the filter. It's pretty interesting. I'll start with the gaskets here. Molly on the right, Bentley on the left. The Bentley's thicker. Definitely a thicker gasket. And we got this base plate on the Bentley. This is a rubber, by the way. I don't know if I said that earlier. I don't think I did. But this is feels like a rubber. It's very thin, though. You can tell by the way it looks here. It's like a little thicker than paper. But, yeah, it just goes on there. And I'm sure this works fine because of, because of this design. You know, it's got this spring. Keeps it all nice. Nice and tight in there. So that's all fine. You got all the little holes. This is all nice and smooth. Yeah, it's all looks good. There's a lot of filter media on this on this guy. And you got your coil spring. The can. Nice coil spring. The can's very thick. Now the Molly oil filter is a little strange with this. Stamp leaf spring, but I've seen these before on the Mollies. But this design here is totally strange. Now this all looks normal here. You got your anti-drain back valve, which that looks like it all worked normal. But look at here, there's no holes. You get some holes here on the bottom, and that's it. That's all you got for holes. 
This inner core is solid. You can get a bypass valve right here. This filter seems like it'd be in bypass mode almost all the time. I mean, this, uh, I don't get this. Would you use a filter like this? I certainly wouldn't. I don't, I don't. You only got them little holes and that's it. Um, your filter media, I guess they got these little things to keep your filter media away from the core. Probably in the filter, the oil would flow down through and into those holes and, and out, I guess. That's what I can figure out here. But, uh, really? Because these things, you know, they stick out a little bit. Uh, that's the strangest design I've ever seen. Yep, I didn't count the holes here. I should have counted them, but... Matter of fact, I will, and I'm going to put them up on the screen here so you'll see them. But, uh, yeah, that's strange. Strange design. So roughly the prices on these guys are $117 and $20, I think. Something like that. I guess if you own a Bentley, you can afford that filter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about these filters. What do you guys think about them? Again, I want to thank Gary for sending me these oil filters. Thanks, Gary. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Molly Filter Media weighs 32 grams. The Bentley Filter Media weighs 46 grams.